Well, um, as you can see, I'm back in the hospital again. So, um, not only did the diverticulitis not heal, but it also opened up a rectal vaginal fistula. So, um, I'm not going to be able to be on the road. They said three to six months healing time, and they have to go in. They put a pick line in today because they tried to get an IV started four times, couldn't get it. They finally put in a pick line, so I don't have to continue to be stuck. I didn't heal from the last time I was in here. So the surgeon said we cannot do laparoscopic. We have to open you up and I have to have surgery and have the gynecologist there as well for the surgery and it's going to be complicated. Don't like when your surgeon says complicated. So the most difficult part is I have my little puppies and um, now I have somebody there watching them while I'm in the hospital here for three to six months recovery. And they don't know not to jump on you. They don't know that you, you know, basically had your guts ripped out and, and hopefully they can put it back together again. But, um, you know, I got the Prius, got it ready. The day I got it registered, I was gonna leave the next day and the diverticulitis hit. And I've been down ever since. And I so want to be on the road. Trust me, this is not where I want to be. And so, you know, I told the doctor if there's any way, because I don't want a, an ostomy. I don't want a ostomy bag. I absolutely, so one thing I said in life, I absolutely do not want that. Yes, I do respond to sexual requests. But only and he goes, well, if we go in there, clear, even if somebody requested um, it, you would never can with somebody else in the room. No, never. And not until you were, you know, um, you had any non -cam more than likely you will have to do it. Boundary. I was acting out a fantasy. So, um, that's what's going on here. There will not be any Prius adventures for a while. Now, I will be on the road just as absolutely soon as I can get out and be on the road. And I'm hoping against hope that he doesn't do the ostomy bag. Ms. Carrera? Um, which would you prefer? I prefer not to but he said, yeah, there's no way to do laparoscopic on this, and we have to totally open okay. you up. And, um, yes, thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry for and then I have to be visiting that him for three to six months after the surgery. So definitely not fun, but like I said, my major thing is my puppies that, um... Can I ever ask you to smile at me? Yes. I absolutely don't know how I'm going to manage this. You know, somebody said, well, you know, maybe I could find people to foster them. I don't want to foster my puppies. I just... Uh, that you were turned on? That you loved it? I don't know. 
Yes, but I was pretending. I don't know. Did you tell me that you wanted me? Anyway, thank you for all the new subscribers. And I am, again, so looking forward to being out on the road. But every time it seems like getting ready to go, I have another big setback. I love you. Um, Is that you? Yes. So we'll see. You? But, um, you know, I'll bring some updates and... Um, you know, thank you for all the new subscribers and well wishes, etc. And uh, I want to get healed up as quick as I can. They came in and just gave me morphine, which I hate. It's just. You're not supposed to record that. Then again, I don't like pain. <laughs> but. I don't like morphine either. It's, it's, uh, I don't like, I don't like any of that stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to let people know what was happening, that I'm not ignoring the channel. But at the moment, I'm a bit indisposed. I'm just glad they're letting me wear my regular dress and not change into the hospital gown because I'm freezing in those things. <laughs> what about when you said on camera? So anyway, that's that's what's going on. And thank you to everyone and I'll see you on line. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that, that there's a miracle and that he doesn't have to do the colonoscopy, not the colonoscopy, ostomy bag, colonoscopy, please, <laughs> oh Lord.